This is another way of presenting an optimization problem in calculus. A square of side x inches is cut out of each corner of an 8 by 15 inch cardboard. Now the sides of the cardboard are then folded up to form an open top box. We will answer the following questions in uh, this word problem using derivative. So the first question is to find the volume of the box as a function of x. The second question will be finding the restriction of the domain of the volume. And the last question will be finding the dimension of the square that produces the maximum volume of the box. Now this will be your 8 by 15 inch cardboard. And what you need to do is from this flat cardboard, you're going to cut out the corners of the cardboard to create an open top box. So if you fold this up, you'll be able to construct an open top box similar to this one. So this is the box or the uh, top um, box top that we're going to be working on today. So it looks something similar to this one, which is drawn right here. Now, to answer the first question, finding the volume of the box as a function of x, we need to construct our equation for v. So to find the volume, here's our cardboard. We folded it here at the corner, cut it out to create an open top box. And by measuring the length, the width, and the height, we'll be able to find the formula for its volume. Now, how do we construct the equation of the volume based off this cardboard box? And to do that, we know that it's a 15 by 8 inch box. However, since we're cutting out the corner of the box right here by x inch, that's what we're going to be working on, and it's illustrated in this diagram. Now, for the width of your box, since it's 15 inch at the beginning, and you're cutting out two corners, which is mes measured by x inch, we're, we'll have 15 minus 2x, two, two because you're cutting out 2x or a measure of 2x in your corner right here. So your width will be measured by 15 minus 2x, and it's no longer 15 anymore because you're cutting them out and folding it up. Now for the length of your cardboard box, cut out here will be measured by x inch. So instead of using 8 inches, now you have 8 minus 2x, which is basically the part of your cardboard that you need to cut out. So for your height, if you fold this up, you will notice that this will be the corner that you fold up and it creates a height right here and it's measured by x in our word problem. So this one will be our x or height x in our cardboard box right here. So it's illustrated in the diagram as well. So putting them all together to construct our equation for the volume, which is we know length times width times height will have 8 by, this is your 8 by 2x, 8 by 2x times 15 by 2x times the height of x. So this will be the equation of the volume of your open-topped box. Now to uh, change this into standard form, we'll have 120x minus 46x squared plus 4x cubed. And to find that, all you have to do is to multiply each of the terms right here. And that's how we answer letter A. Now we have found the volume of the open-topped box in as a function of x. Now to find the restriction of the domain of the volume, all we need to do is to uh, find all the values wherein each term will be positive. And to do that, we have the length, the width, and the height, just equated to greater than or equal to zero, to find the restrictions that we have for this particular box. So we have 8 minus 2x greater than or equal to 0. Solving for x, you sub, um, get rid of 8 by subtracting 8 on both sides. And dividing both sides by negative 2 will change your inequality from greater than or equal to into less than or equal to. So therefore, our first restric restriction will be x less than or equal to 4 by solving for the value of x from our length. And for the width, we do the same thing, and we'll have x less than or equal to 7.5. And for the last term, which is x, the height will be greater than or equal to 0, or simply x greater than or equal to 0. Now, this diagram right here will show you the restrictions that we are using for the domain of our volume. So for the first restriction for the length, all numbers should be less than or equal to 4. So this is 4, less than or equal to 4. 
For the second one, which is 7.5 for x, also less than or equal to um, to 7.5. So we'll have this restriction right here. And for our third interval for the height x greater than or equal to 0, this is 0. And you will notice that we have an intersection. And the intersection is basically giving us the restriction that we need for the domain of the volume. So therefore, our restrictions should be all values of x in between 0 and Four. So that's how we answer letter, letter B, by finding the restriction of the domain of your volume. And to answer the last problem, this is where we need to use derivatives to be able to answer or to find the dimension of the square that produces the maximum volume of the box. Now remember in optimization problem we always have the maxim to ma we always need to maximize or to minimize certain function and in this case we're finding its maximum volume. So the first step is to find the critical number based of the volume of the square which is 120x minus 46x squared plus 4x cubed. Finding its first derivative will give you 120 minus 92x plus 12x squared. Now you need to set it to 0 and to solve for x, we have a quadratic equation. Now, there are two ways on how to find the values, values of x for the first derivative. You can factor it out or you can use the quadratic formula. So if you're not comfortable factoring out big number like this, you can certainly use quadratic formula to find the values of x's. But here I factored it out and I have 4 times 3x minus 5 times x minus 6 as the factor of my quadratic equation. S using the zero product property, I'll have 3x minus 5 equal to 0 and x minus 6 equal to 0. And solving for x, I have x equal to 5 over 3 and x equal to 6. Now that we have two values of x, we need to choose which one will be in our equation. So to do that, we are going to refer to our restriction and make sure that the values of x that we are using will be included in our interval. And in this case, the interval is in between 0 and 4, and between 5 over 3 and 6, 5 over 3 is the one inside the interval, and this is what we will use for our sign chart to verify if we have a maximum volume of the open top box. And here's our sign chart for step number two to verify if it's going to be a maximum or a minimum. So we have the first derivative function, which is your volume, vol um, v prime of zero. I used zero because zero is less than five over three. If we plug in zero to our first derivative, it will give you a positive number, which is 120. That's why we have a positive value right here. And for the next half of our interval, I chose two for a number greater than 5 over 3, and it gives me a negative number. So if you replace x by 2 here, you'll have 120 minus a number plus another number, and it's going to be equal to negative 16, which is a negative number. So therefore, I have increasing and decreasing in our critical number. Therefore, I created a maximum peak right here. So the dimension of the square with the maximum volume will be 5 over 3 by... 5 over 3. And the reason why they are the same is because we have an, um, a square as an open top box. So their measure for their sides will be the same.